thing I enjoy about photographing squirrels the most is they're completely unpredictable. You never quite know how they're going to react to a certain situation. I'll have a plan which they'll obviously ignore and do what they want to do themselves. So the fun part is not knowing what's going to happen. My name is Max Ellis. I'm from London, England. I photograph squirrels and this is my Flickr moment. The Squirrel Listmo series really got started as I was trying to do a daily photo blog. I noticed the squirrels would come down to the table in the front garden and looking at things that were left out from the night before or the kids had left in the garden. I just thought they'd make some good subjects for pictures, really. The squirrels in the shots are real wild squirrels, so they're not tame at all. I mean, there's no chance of petting them or picking them up or attaching things to them or, as some people imagine, gluing their hands to the uh, props. They'll pick things up that are just left lying around on the table anyway, especially if they've got food or anything attached to them. So I'll coat them in peanut butter or sunflower seeds. Everything that's hung is hung from like a scaffold with fishing line. Unfortunately, they quite like running off with these things, so I lost a lot of props over the years. When I uh, come up with an idea, I'll often just look around on Amazon or eBay for a prop. So in this instance, I was thinking about um, whether or not I could get hold of a very small umbrella. So I looked on eBay and I researched them. And it was quite hard finding one that was just the right scale. Another one was the rock band where I just searched around until I found a scaled down guitar a squirrel could hold. I had to get a small drum kit as well and then hung up the two guitars and the drum kit over a stage. My wife was saying, what, what are you doing with all these? Why have we got these tiny guitars turning up? I go, well, you know, the squirrels can have a band. So the house is littered with tiny objects and strange things in corners, irritating my wife immensely. One of my favourite ones was the squirrels with a pumpkin on their head. I'd hung it up for Halloween. What I thought was going to happen was that it was just going to climb on it or just look in it. But the squirrel had got its head inside it, holding onto it and swinging around in a big circle. It was so funny I could hardly sort of press the shutter. One of the most technically challenging shots that I did was The Great Escape. I set up a motorbike and sidecar jumping through the air with a tank in the background, trying to lure a squirrel into it and get it to hold the handlebars of the bike whilst riding the bike whilst it was swinging to and fro. That took three or four days to just get to come anywhere near it. And often the squirrels would get into the tank and then there'd be a, a squirrel fight inside the tank with sort of heads popping out and, you know, just sort of squirrels charging around all over the place. And it's, uh, it's quite sort of a lot of mayhem and chaos involved in squirrel work. I think the main thing about squirrels that make people like them is the fact they've got hands and they've got the ability to hold things much like a human would do. And then they've got the big fluffy cute tail and the big eyes, so they look sweet, but they've got like a mischief, mischievous nature about them, which is, um, you know, fun for everybody.